Also happening tonight, a vigil held for 13 year old Alex Makowitz, the young boy who died after he was hit by a car while riding his e-skateboard to school. A family and friends, as you can imagine, heartbroken by this tragic accident. Fox 31's Greg Nieto was there for that emotional ceremony. He has more on how you can help the family tonight. Greg. Yeah, Eric, you know, Alex's mother said she came right here to this intersection at 648 this morning. That's the time yesterday morning when the first 911 call was received down here in Highlands Ranch. She says she will continue to come here because this is where Alex's presence remains. It remains here and it remains right up here. Alex's name again lit up a local resident. Actually, it's Alex's best friend's family. Next to a busy street on a cold night in Highlands Ranch. Next to a growing memorial with her son's name and picture. Alex Makowitz's mother grieves. Candles, hugs and tears. Remembering a young man who went by the nickname Sasha. It was very, very special. Yesterday, just before 7 a.m., the 13-year-old was riding a one-wheel, says Douglas County Sheriff deputies at the corner of East Highlands Ranch Parkway and Veneford Ranch Road when he was hit and killed. And that's our a wish of value for Alex's life, that we do something about this. Alex's stepfather, Owen. This dangerous intersection where your kids go to school, and we think they're safe, but something needs to be done here, school zone, traffic lights, something has to be done here. In the more than 36 hours since, many people, including these classmates, have stopped by to pay their respects, to say goodbye. Alex Makowitz's family says something has to change. Pay more attention to the way we drive. Pay more attention to the people we drive by. Douglas County Sheriff deputies say as of yet, no citations have been issued. Alex's mother plans to be right back here tomorrow morning at 648. Funeral arrangements tentatively set for a week from Saturday. In Highlands Ranch, Greg Nieto, Fox 31.